All right, in this video, we are going to be looking at chapter 10 called Interesting Times. What we're going to be tackling in this one, we're going to be looking at the times method that's been duplicated. And I want to point out, I, I circled the dollar franc duplication. On previous to-do list, I had struck that out. We uh, did address that in a previous video, but there's still additional duplication there that we want to refactor out. Like I said, we want to actually get rid of those two subclasses ultimately. And we're kind of using tester and development to make our way there. So I just want to call out that I previously had that struck out off our list. I am putting it back on. That was my mistake. So I want to call that out. And in this video, we are going to be looking at the times method. So I'm going to jump over to IntelliJ now and take a look at that. Now let's take a look at the two times implementations here. I got the dollar class down at the bottom of the screen on line 12. We can see the times method and that is doing money dollar, uh, returning back a new instance of that. Uh, using the multiplier. And then we're also using the money franc implementation, our little factory method there to return back that. So if we take a look at that, that is now going through and creating a new object for us and passing in the proper currency code. So what we are going to do is we'll play with some refactoring here. And let's come in here and now let's do a, a new dollar. And we're kind of reversing what we did before. And I, I'm doing this as a, on purpose. I just want to walk through a couple things. We're kind of trying to get things to the same. Made a little mistake there. So got that fixed up. And now, now we can see that we are calling both constructors here and passing that along. So let's make sure all our tests still run. Our tests are still green, so that is good. Expand this out so we can see all of them. Now, the one thing that we can do here is we do have currency on our object. So we don't actually need to pass that in. So we can say that currency code and also make that change there. So that, that is going to work properly. So we'll run our tests again, make sure that these run. That is good. Now we can actually change this to be a money object as well. Let's try making that change. And we'll say money here. And now we can see that we're getting a compiler error saying that money is abstract. So IntelliJ is flagging it, but if we try to compile this, this would also go, go like that. So let's convert money from an abstract class to a concrete class. And we actually have to implement that. And we'll just return back a null for right now. So let's just get, to get things working. So now let's try running that. And now we can see we are getting some errors here. And this, this isn't very helpful because we can see here that things just don't make sense as far as it's doing a, a two string on the object and we're just getting back the class and the memory address. So uh, not, not exactly what we want. And that's because we haven't implemented a two string method on this. So I'll come down here and say two string. And I'm using IntelliJ there. So now we're going to get money amount. So that, that's going to look a little nicer. So let's go ahead and run this again. And now we, we can see that it's not happy. And this, this is because our, these are not the same, so we're testing quality, and that is failing, and that is because of our, our equals method. So remember, we said this get class equals. So now we have different classes there, but now as we're consolidating things down, we're trying to get away from using the two subclasses, and really what we want to say here is this currency equal to money currency. And now let's try running these tests again. 
now we can see that our, our tests are all back to green. So now this is implementing money. And this is also implementing money. So we can see here our, our class Frank, a times method on line 12 there is returning back a money object. It's taking a multiplier money object. And it's also, it's just doing amount times multiplier and currency. And this is all from the super class. And we can look here. This is also there. So now these are, are both identical. So we can pull them up to the, the super class. So I can come in here, refactor, pull members up. And we're going to say pull that up and do the refactor. And I'm going to say continue. So that, that's done that. And let's see what IntelliJ did. So we can get rid of this. And that this here is the down in line 42. That's the one that IntelliJ refactored. So now we have this times method. So IntelliJ did that for us. It removed it from the dollar class. Now I can also remove this from the, the Frank class as well. Now we can see that the logic between the two classes is gradually being refactored out. Let's go ahead and run our test again, make sure that everything's happy. And that this is what test-driven development is all about. We're going through, we're doing incremental refactorings, and we have a set of tests that are going through and doing assertions for us. So everything is looking good here. And you can see the refactoring that we did, what we did is we gradually changed the times method, got both signatures to the same, and our tests were still running. So now we, we were able to take that times method and move it into the, the money class. So I've gone in, uh, crossed off common times, and in the next video, we are going to revisit the dollar franc duplication. You can see that's why I had to put that back on the list there. So in the next video, we have more refactoring to do.